Isopods have exploited this niche perfectly. Their lineage goes back an astonishing 300 million years. Their small, scavenging ancestors invaded the deep sea. And over millions of years, natural selection pushed them toward having bigger and bigger bodies. A larger isopod can travel farther across the vast seafloor to find food, store more fat, and survive those long, lean periods between meals. When a massive animal like a whale dies and its carcass sinks to the bottom, it's called a whale fall. For the creatures of the deep, this is a buffet that can last for decades. A giant isopod-like asterisk raxasa asterisk can crawl onto that carcass, use its powerful mandibles to rip off flesh and gorge itself. It can store enough nutrients from a single feast to survive for a very, very long time afterward. But there have to be limits, right? Arthropods, the group that includes insects and crustaceans, have exoskeletons and specialized respiratory systems. On land, 